Okay, Stefan, you're at home to Stirling University this weekend. Uh, how much are you and your squad looking forward to this game? Uh, I personally, I'm really looking forward to it. Um, it was obviously a, a bad week last week. Uh, but we've let ourselves down, uh, especially with the goals we've conceded. And again, it wasn't particularly a, a Hamilton were miles better than us. It was stupid goals and, and we're gifting teams goals. But I think it's, it's cleared the air a wee bit with some quite frank and honest discussions within the within the changing room after it. So the best thing about football is you've got another game the next week. Uh, you don't have time to dwell on, on any issues. So everybody's really looking forward to it. The training was, was really, really good tonight. Players really, really uh, bouncing and good high tempo. So no, I'm looking forward to it. And another, we're away from home all the time recently, so it's good to go home then. Um, in response to the defeat to Hamilton at the weekend, uh, what have you been working on this week in training to it, in response to it? We've got such a young team here that it's a constant development uh, every week. We've got to work on, on all areas of our game uh, all the time. So we've got the luxury of having eight, nine experienced players. We've got four or five. Uh, so we look to, to go and keep the ball and, and build this over a period of time and, and obviously look to meet the challenge physically and, and fitness-wise. But we need to improve in, on all areas of our game. Uh, we've got so many young players that we've got a lot to learn, but it's, it's a lot of potential. Okay. As well as uh, needing to improve in all, in all areas of the pitch, as you say, uh, does your team need a, a rub of the green, a bit of luck, which has evaded you this season? That would be fantastic. <laughs> I would absolutely love that. Uh, we've not been, been lucky with injuries. Uh, we've had quite a few injuries, but these, these things happen to all teams and, and it tends to even its, its way out over the season. Um, we've also had the sort of facility problems at the start, which is just an act of God that, that nobody can do anything about. And uh, The injuries and in the game, yeah, sometimes the rub of the green's not went our way, but the important thing is we've got to keep working hard and you don't let those things affect you. You get back into training and you work your socks off to improve and you've got to go into games with a, with a positive attitude. You never know what's going to happen when you go over those two white lines and you've got to be mentally tough. Uh, five games into the season, you're at the foot of the table with uh, just the one point. Uh, but when we arrived here earlier on, it seemed everyone was just really positive, just laughing, just having a good time with their training. Uh, how, imperative, how imperative is it that your team doesn't let that get to them and start to panic? Huge, again, and I sound like a broken record sometimes with the, with the average age of the team, but you can't let these things get them down, and it can. Uh, when you're at age and, and togetherness is, is massive in that and we've looked to really work on that in, in the last few weeks and, and to be honest I think what happened down at Hamilton has actually brought brought the team closer together uh, that's what I'm looking for and it's got to be an ever say say die attitude uh, you can't let these things get to you and you're in the wrong business and, and the wrong sport if if it does uh, there's probably more downs than there is than there is ups for the majority of teams in, uh, in sport so you've got to roll with the punches and, and work hard and, and get it going but the players all enjoy their football and enjoy their training and they, uh, they worked really hard tonight, so we look to take that onto the part on Sunday. And listen, we win, lose or draw on Sunday. If we go and work hard and we're together and we fight together and we win, lose or draw together, then I'm happy. Uh, how big a lift would a win on Sunday uh, give the club as a whole? Massive. Uh, it would give them a massive lift. I think it would give them that, that huge confidence boost that they're, they're looking for. The players are better than what they've, they've shown so far. And I think if you combine all the things together and a wee bit more of the, the rub of the green and, and they get that front foot, I think you'll see a, a completely different proposition. Uh, coming out, uh, coming out onto the pitch on a Sunday, so I've got no doubt that that's that's on its way, and we'll we'll be confident to go and, and do our best to get three points on Sunday. You got any uh, words for any supporters making their way to Sunnybank Football Club on Sunday? Stay with the team and, and keep positive. There's a, a lot of young kids out there, and uh, the experienced players as well. They they need your support. And listen, when your backs are against the wall, you've you've got to stick together. And uh, we kind of go about this as individuals. We're in a battle now, and the operative word is is battle, so we all need to stick together and, and, get to, and keep swinging. Yeah. Stefan, thanks again for talking to us. All the best for Sunday. Sure, thanks,